Happy Valentine's Day Diversity Kitchen. I'm going to show hey, you how to do this. Diversity Kitchen, how are you all doing? For me, I'm doing good. I'm doing fantastic. So, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to show you what you can do for your Valentine's Day. It's very simple and easy. Okay? Very simple and easy. So, last year I did, you know, we always do the strawberry covered chocolates and somebody give uh, messages me and say she don't really like that i don't know why <laughs> and she say like if i can this year if i can tell i can show her like little bit stuff so this is very easy for you to do okay so if you don't like this or oh, this is every cream every whipping cream so if this one is you you see like this one is work for you i will show you what you can use so you can use this go look for this one you can this one is already made is already is already so you can use this instead of this okay so we are going to need some strawberries and we are going to follow our instruction here we are going to follow the instruction here for the velvet chocolate or uh, the velvet cake. So we are going to follow the instruction. So and we are going to need some pump. Yes. So we are going to need the egg as the instruction. And we are going to need the powdery sugar for the for the heavy cream. So now we are going to do the the cake first. So let's go. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so now I have everything that they need. You see, you are going to read over here and you are going to see what the measurement. Every but uh, every cake mix of the instruction. Just follow the instruction. So we are going to open it. This is how it looks like. So now we are going to put uh, the liquid first. So we are going to put water. We are going to put oil. We are going to crack three uh three egg. It's very simple and easy. You cannot go wrong about this one. Sometimes you cannot go wrong about this one. Sometimes whenever you do the uh, strawberry chocolate covered, sometimes the chocolate goes bad and you end up with the chocolate that is you know it melts but it's not covering the chocolate or the, the strawberries sometimes your strawberry is not really sweet or really good but for this one you know go, there's nothing wrong you cannot go wrong with this one this one is very perfect so you just put your cake mix Oh my god, just make a mess, little bit mess. It's okay, you just mix it. So this so this is it. Make sure you got all the lumps out. So this is what we used to do in Africa. Whenever you got some lumps, you do this. You're killing all the lumps. <laughs> so this is it. Now we are going to take our spatula. And we are going to clean all the pot and make sure the bottom is well coated. The whole mix. Now we are going to get the pen. The pen is from dollar twenty-five. Okay, so our pen is from dollar twenty-five. So whenever you're doing all this mixing stuff, make sure you already your oven is on three fifty degrees. Just read the instruction you are going to see and uh, according to the pen that you're using so we are going to, to spray our pen with a non-stick non-stick butter and we are going to put the butter inside you see very easy very simple and uh 
if you're wondering like the cake is gonna be big you don't need no too like this big cup cake or uh, this big cake like this i will show you what to do with the the rest of a cake okay so anyway whenever you're watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel diversity kitchen la grass if you watch it on my page please i beg just comment share like subscribe like share follow okay all those things follow if you watch it from my real just like just you know something to encourage me you never know you encourage me today and tomorrow will be somebody else god gonna send us send some angel to support you too okay so we are going to bake it and i'm gonna show you okay so this is our cake is ready when the cake is ready is when you you know by they say 30 minutes by but by 25 it depends of it depends on your oven okay it depends on your oven some do 25 some do 30 it depends on your oven but whenever you see like this you know it get firm you do this and the middle part is not jiggling and uh, just get your toothpick you know this is the sign that your cake is ready you see so we are going to let it cool down and then we are going to proceed it's the good strawberry because you are going to put this one in the fridge and it's gonna stay for two two days so please at least pick the good strawberry so that it can stay in the fridge because if you pick the bad one they are going to spoil your cake they are going to spoil your cake so we are going to cut the strawberries and we are going to put them in the bowl if you like strawberries go ahead and do a lot of them if you don't this one is spoiled already that's why i say choose the good one if you choose something like this it's gonna get bad very soon in your cake okay so i finished to cut all the strawberries now we are going to put some sugar just put two tablespoons and you are going to mix it and put it aside So you are going to mix it and you are going to put it aside and put it in the fridge okay so now we are going to do the cool whip so we are going to put all this Put uh, two tablespoons of this sugar, the powdery sugar. Powdery sugar. I'm gonna put two tablespoons. And I'm going to add this. So we are going to beat this until it's fluffy. Remember, if you, you don't like this stage, you can go and buy the, the one is already, you know, the cool whip. not ready we have to beat it until it's not hanging like this you see it's 
see now so now we are ready <laughs> so we are going to mix everything together Going to put it in the in our bag and we are going to to do everything okay so this is it i put some in the bag if you don't want, if you don't have this bag use the z bag this z bag is easy you just put in the z bag and you just cut the the what this part i'm gonna show you so i put this one and this one gonna go in the freezer when i'm working with this Okay, so I put the cool whip in the fridge um, on the cool part, not the freezer. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I said the freezer. <laughs> so if you have the Z bag, you see the Z bag just put inside everything inside, and you just cut the, you see this, you just cut a little bit, and you close it, you are going to squeeze it. So this is my cake right here. I'm gonna cut, so I'm gonna use the, the clear. This is um, 20 ounces, 20 ounces, so I'm going to use this. This is so cute, you can make it. And uh, I'm going to cut the cake and then we are going to fill it up. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do the cube. Because I decided to do that one, but I feel like it's too big for the cup so I'm gonna do the cube and we are going to, to do it so first of all we are going to put the cup we are going to trim this the, the part right here you see like this oops and you are going to put it inside the cup like that and you are going to put the cool whip and you are going to squeeze the cool whip go around and you are going to put some strawberry inside like that and you are going to repeat the same process you are going to get a cake you are going to get a cake again trim the excess you are going to put inside you are going to put some cool whip You are going to put some strawberries. And you are going to put some cool whip on the top. And voila. And voila for Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day, enjoy. I'm gonna finish and then I'm gonna show you. So you repeat the same process. You squeeze it. Put a cool whip. The last time that I went in a I neighbor, I see this and it was four dollars a cup. It was a four dollars. But you can achieve this one. We are going to get a cake. Put the cake on top. Put the, some cool whip. And put some strawberry.
and if you don't want strawberry I'm gonna do this one look it's so perfect so good so this one I'm gonna do with that uh, strawberry so you put the cake inside put the cool whip Put the cake and put some on the corner. To make it full look full. And you are going to fill it up. So you are going to repeat the same thing you are going to put to the cake i'm gonna divide the cake into look at how much the cake is so you put the cake you fill up there okay so we are going to finish we are going to finish look just put them top Okay, so the way you put it on top, so you are going to like, do this. Look, so beautiful. So beautiful, look. So I'm going to do the last one and then I'm going to show you. Just finish it up. So look how those gorgeous. Yeah. Look how gorgeous yeah. they are. Yes. They so we got these two yes. with that strawberry and the two yes. with strawberry inside. Yes. Look. So beautiful. Okay, so you may ask a question. You may ask a question like, what am I gonna do with the remaining cake? Don't worry. Get your Z bag. Okay? Get your Z bag. Put all the cake inside. And one day you are going to use them trust me the cake gonna stay fresh and good if you wanna do the, another one you just get the, take the cake out from the freezer put it on your counter for some second um some minutes until you know it just freeze and uh, you are going to do it okay just like this take all the hair out and zip it put the dates and put it in there put the dates and put it in the freezer just like this just put it like this and you're ready to go thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share So the cup came with the, the lid, look, you can close the lid up and the very easy, simple, clear, clean and so beautiful. That one I put so much, but look at this.